Hi, in this video, I will be introducing to you the steps to turn on the portable Bunsen burner safely in the lab. So this is the portable Bunsen burner. This part, the canister, is the fuel, the fuel that we will use uh, to turn on the, the to light up the fire. Uh, there are two designs of the Bunsen burner that is available. I'll go through them one at a time. So. The first thing we need to do before we light up the Bunsen burner is to always turn off the air hole. Now, where is the air hole? For this portable Bunsen burner, the air hole is here. This part, the part that I'm turning the, the collar, this is the part that controls the size of the air hole. So it's movable. When you control it, you do what I do. You hold it with your finger, forefinger and the thumb. And then you just do it this way. Hold it and turn it. What you want to do before you turn it on is to close the air hole. Okay, so you adjust using the collar. Close the air hole of the Bunsen burner. The other design of the Bunsen burner that we have is this design. So where's the air hole? It is here. The collar is a different design. So you need to press this part. Press together. Press together, this is the air hole, okay, so you want to close the air hole. You can turn it around, you can adjust the air, the size of the air hole accordingly, okay. So whenever we light the Bunsen burner, we always close the air hole. Then what we need to do is to close the air hole and turn on the gas. Where is the gas? It is this knob that sticks out this knob that sticks out so you will notice that there are some things printed on the knob there are two these two arrows pointing to one is the clockwise one is anti-clockwise one of them is plus one of them is minus so plus means more fuel so you will turn towards the side that says plus so you don't turn blindly you look at it look for it until you find it then turn towards the part that says plus to turn on the Bunsen burner for both the black and the blue knob, you will see this is a bit clearer. You can see the plus and the minus, so you turn towards the plus to introduce the fuel. So we close the air hole, turn towards the plus, towards the plus, then this is what we do close air hole, turn, to, turn towards the plus. And then light with a lighter. What you do not want is you do not want black smoke. Because now I have some black smoke coming out, but I think you, you it's not very visible. Or oh, you can see a little bit of it on the video. The black smoke is soot, is bad for health. So we want to make sure we don't have the black smoke. How do you do that? You need to adjust the air hole using your forefinger and your thumb. You adjust, move the collar until there is no more black smoke you don't have to open the air hole completely all the time you just adjust the air hole to the to get the size of the fire that you need to get the type of fire you need so now what we need what do we need we need a luminous flame we need a flame where we can see this is called a safety flame it's safe because we can see it is orange color so you will not accidentally put your hand over it and hurt yourself However, we don't want the black smoke. So open the air hole a little bit to remove the black smoke to make sure the black smoke does not come out. But we still have the luminous flame. If this fire is too big for your news, it's too big for you, you don't need, do not need such a, fire, such a big fire, then what you do is you adjust the amount of fuel. Turn towards minus. Just slowly, carefully. Then the fire can become smaller if you want. So this is how you control the Bunsen burner. The air hole, when you turn it, it is to give you, you turn it in order to, this, to get the type of flame that you want. A luminous safety flame or a non-luminous strong flame. Close air hole, luminous safety flame. Open air hole, non-luminous strong flame. 
you adjust the tap, the gas tap, to get the size of the flame that you want. So if you want a bigger flame, then you introduce more gas. To get a smaller flame, you turn it down. To turn off the Bunsen burner, you shut the gas. Okay, turn off the gas valve. So that's how we turn on. Uh, how that's how we use the portable Bunsen burner in the lab.